Welcome to Doc's Lab. Um, this channel I put together, or I should say I opened because um, basically I get a lot of questions sometimes about concepts in audio engineering or techniques. And some of the actual concepts are very complex. Um, sometimes I've watched a lot of videos on mixing and some of the times the concepts and the techniques they use are very simple. Uh, very simple to the point to where sometimes uh, people who don't really understand mixing and mastering music and or audio engineering concepts might get really confused by the simplicity when they start trying to mess with their own stuff and they don't understand. You don't know why that guy pushed up his EQ just a little bit and it made his mix perfect and your stuff sounds like crap or something, you know, and it's like um, because the concepts are, you know, not that simple. Um, you can be very, very simple with your um, functionality as far as mixing and mastering music, but the concepts are very complex. Sound is very complex. Techniques and equipment are very complex, and they can be very confusing. The actual, um, a lot of the concepts um, are very simple in structure. Um, some of the uses can be very complex, but if you can just get a hold of the basic concepts of what things do and how sound works and what sound does and what the equipment does that you can really um, do some really cool stuff and pull yourself out of that trying to watch another mixing video or recording video or mastering video uh, when you don't really understand the concepts and you know they're just a lot of people they're just looking for somebody just to tell them what do I do rather than understand all of the concepts behind what's happening when it doesn't take all that much time to really understand some of those concepts so I put this channel together for people to go through these videos that you know of, of speaking on different types of techniques different equipment um, different um, aspects of audio engineering and um, related subjects and you know it's I hope that if you as you watch the videos it opens up a lot of new doors to where that you know concepts and understandings that seem like they were mystery or or magic you know that you've got a whole new understanding of it that opens up a whole new world um, of sound and, and sculpting and building and creating you know and you know and actually in music also um, I haven't put a lot of videos on in this channel yet about um, actually songwriting and things like that, but I'm sure that I will. I'm I, I'm spent a lot of time focused on just putting up videos about um, concepts related to audio engineering and sound and music. Um, so the, if you go through all the videos in this channel and you've watched all of them, sometimes some of them might seem a little long and a little dry every now and then, but if you watch through them all of them and sometimes you might want to watch a couple times <clears throat> that my thought is that you should have a pretty well understanding a pretty well rounded understanding of a lot of the concepts that are happening in music and um, if you've gone through all the videos in this channel that um, it should open up a lot of doors and if the questions that you would have about any concepts happening in audio engineering or different concepts related to equipment or different concepts related to techniques of using that equipment um, that your questions would be much more finely targeted and much more attuned um, to get an answer that's going to actually be helpful to you um, rather than just some stuff that you don't understand any more than the other concept um, because you'll have a little bit better understanding of the concepts related to those concepts and I know that sounds like a complex um, concept but <laughs> you know that's real you know and that way even when you do have more questions that you're much your ability you have a better ability to fine-tune the questions that you do have now um, with a much more rounded understanding of what's actually happening in with the audio what's happening in with the equipment um, what's happening with those techniques what's happening with those concepts what is exactly what's going on? Um, why, why is this doing that? Why is that doing that? What is happening there? How do you do that? Why does it do that? Um, all those questions, a, a better rounded understanding of those questions um, can really help you 
move forward with new questions to really help you to move forward um, because with a better understanding the questions that you will have will be much more finer will be finer tuned and targeted to get with an understanding um, to help get more understanding you know what and to broaden the knowledge and broaden the understanding you have of the original concept that you now understand and I know that sounds dry maybe but that's very real and you know that kind of understanding is kind of what I'm targeting at here um, I'm not some of the videos they're not made in Hollywood um, I'll throw them at the drop of the hat at 3 o'clock in the morning you know when I'm, when I'm after an old dark 30 experiments so you know and plus I don't have the money to do you know to do it all Hollywood dude so you know um, you kind of have to bear with me on that and just really pay attention to what I'm trying to tell you and there's times where I'll get rambling along a little bit but you know if you really pay attention to the concepts um, to try to relate it to what's happening to your music or your audio um, or the sound um, that it should benefit you a lot and um, a lot of the videos that you know I'm, I'm hoping that you know it'll help you become a, a you know an awesome mastering engineer and sound sculptor you know that has a really well-rounded understanding of what sound is what's happening in sound well, what is the composition of sound? What can you do with it? What tools can you shape it with? How can you shape it? Um, you know, I mean, to extreme sometimes, you know, but sometimes extreme concepts every now and then you can pull out your hat and go, wow, dude, you know, I know this concept that, you know, I could do something like this with that and that would be so cool. And, you know, there's, um, it's, it can be very diverse on this channel and, and, you know, and like I said, it's not real organized, so you kind of got to go through it, but, um, I'm hoping that it should open up a lot of doors. And if you've gone through this channel and watched every one of these videos that you should have a pretty well rounded understanding of a lot of concepts dealing with audio, um, and, and, and concepts related to dealing with audio. Um, to really help you fine tune and target any questions that are broadening your knowledge with a with a fairly good foundation of what you're dealing with um, when you start dealing with other more complex you know um, issues you know like a prime example would be you know side chain compression or parallel compression that you know I've seen some people that just get lost in that you know and you just be like and they don't really have any understanding even what's happening and why they would want to do that and what the purpose of it and what's happening there you know and they just you know and they're really not broadening their knowledge because they don't have a really good solid foundation understanding what is actually going on and what the audio even is and what the harmonic content is um, um you know uh harmonic distortion non-harmonic distortion um of sound, um, of floor noise, other types of noises that can be in there, wideband distortion, all kinds of things that affect audio and how the ear perceives music and, and just, I mean, all those kind of things that, you know, I mean, and there's much, 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 much more um, to really understand so that when you start doing something that, and you see something do some, somebody do something in another video, that you're having a much better understanding of what exactly they're doing and why they're doing it and you, and hopefully that as you learn and if you've watched all the videos on this channel and really have taken the time to understand what you're being what I'm trying to teach you is that you will definitely understand when you're watching somebody who you thought was teaching you something and you're gonna have a much better understanding so that you watch Bob do a video and you go I don't know what the hell Bob thinks he's doing there, but it doesn't make no sense. And watching Bill make a video, and Bill is like, and you understand Bill's doing something that's cool because you've got a much more, more well-rounded understanding of what's happening with the audio. Um, that way that when you're watching videos from Bill and Bob, that you know when to go, mm, no, and you know when to go, oh, wow, yeah, dude, that's cool. I can understand the concept of that and what you're working with, why you're doing that, um, the 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 material that you're dealing with um how the material functions what all it is and, and what exactly is happening when you're explaining that concept what's that's doing to the audio with a much more rounded understanding so that you um can avoid a lot of confusion um while you're on your journey 
um, learning about sound sculpting and audio engineering and, and mixing and mastering or recording music. And so that's basically the hope. And I certainly hope that these videos give you that well-rounded understanding. And um, like I said, um, it's not made for Hollywood, but, you know, um, hopefully that it, I try to keep the concepts, explain the concepts well, and I try not to get too in-depth into all the applications a concept can be put into. Um, I leave that up to you sometimes, and sometimes I will be explicit about some different applications of different concepts but just the basic understanding of a lot of those concepts and having a good understanding of them is a very key point you know and a very a huge point and basically that is a tool in itself does that make sense so that when you're looking at a concept or you're watching a video about some new plugin or some new thing in the DAW or some new video or some new parallel side chain compression, you know, that you're not lost in that. You have exactly an understanding of what, why that, what that could be cool, why that it's not cool and it's not worth wasting your time looking at and what, you know, and, and being able to pick and choose what you spend your time looking at and studying at because you'll have a much better understanding from the get-go what might be going on there and whether or not it's worth your time even looking at or, or it's, you know, something you, with your well-rounded knowledge that you're not going to waste your time with, you know, these 500 new plugins or this other thing and this other DAW thing or, or this other tutorial about, you know, another way to compress your audio thing, you know. And it's like, and if it doesn't sound like it's something new that could be cool, you're not going to waste your time listening to it. You know, because, you know, it's like you have a good, well-rounded understand, well understanding of what's happening there. And if that's real and if it's actually going to do any of that kind of stuff without wasting your time and getting confused and lost in the mountains and, and just, you know, the virtual, you know, montage of, you know, you know, lessons and videos and, 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 and sites and, and um, groups and things like that that you can just get lost in. Um, you know, and, and not really have a good concept of what's actually happening. So basically, I hope that that helps you a lot. And I hope that um, if you start watching any of these videos, that you will take the time to watch all of them. Um, if you're looking at any one of these videos about audio engineering or the equipment or the concepts, that I would suggest you watch every one of them. Um, I've got a real basic um, tutorial on mixing that's that just... If you watch through the whole thing, there's a lot of them. There's like 27 or 28 of them. Um, and basically, it was set up to give you a good um, foundation to ask specific questions about what's going on. And, you know, to have a real good general understanding of what can be happening through that process. And some of the things that I do sometimes like that. And, and some of it was just to help you get a mix done. Some of the concepts are very complex and some of the things are very simple and you can get, you know, some things are complex for a reason to do, you know, complex things. It's why some audio engineers or mastering engineers, people want because they really know what they're doing. And when there is an issue, they can solve it because they know what's happening and, you know, they will get complex when they need to and they will try to keep it simple when they can and know the difference of when to do those two things and that's a huge tool right there to understand but having the knowledge of that so that you can use both of those tools the simplicity and the complexity to become better and to become an awesome sound sculptor audio engine so i hope that was a good introductory video and I certainly hope you enjoy the channel. Um, you can contact me and message me if you would like some lessons or if you have some very specific questions. But my biggest thing is I, I suggest you watch all the videos through the entire series. Um, all the videos um, on the audio engineering, mixing, mastering, um, the music and really pay attention to what's happening there. And some of them maybe even watch once or twice. And then, you know, your, your questions that you might have after that and probably will have will be much more specific with a much more well-rounded knowledge. And your, your questions will be much better targeted um, to get answers that are actually helpful to you. So peace, hope, love. Welcome to my channel.